What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We did it. We made the World Series, as as is the case with round two. I just want to give you a little intro so it's not just diving right in, uh, because I was just kind of originally going to put it all as one video. But anyway, without further ado, the 2038 World Series. Game one, World Series. It is time. Queens Museum against the Texas Weens. Let's go. Jack Flaherty getting hit with a single off rip. Fly out, strike out, single. Pete Rose trying to get the third, gets thrown out. That's that aggressive base running. We're going to keep pushing on the base pads, baby. Sometimes it's going to go against us. That's okay. I like the push. Although third out at third is really tough. I don't know. I, I, obviously with a sim, we can't see the send. I don't know how good it was, but uh, third out at third is always tough no matter. But ground out, strike out, ground out. Let's go. Single. Stealing. Throwing error, gets to third, ground out. You can't score on that. I guess it was three unassisted. Never mind. Reached on error, Beckwith scores, and then double play. Buddy Rosar, I I put you in, and that's how you do me, man. That's how you do me? Come on, buddy. Anyway, Cantwell back out. Fly out, strike out, ground out. We're still up 1-0. Ground out, single, double. Pete Rose to third, ground out, strike out. Damn. We're, we're hitting Flaherty, though. I'll say that. Four pitch inning from Cantwell. You love to see it. Ball in play three times, just bing, bang, boom. Let's go. Fly out, strike out, single, single, strike out. Damn, Jelly Gardner, come on. You got a great name. You got to do something with it. I don't know what he's going to do with his name that's going to help us in baseball, but just go with it. Just go with it. It's been a long day here. We're having a great playoff here. Single, double play, fly out, easy inning there thanks to the double play. Let's freaking go. It is top five now. Strike out, single, Rio steals, Rio steals, strike out. Damn you, Rudy. Rudy's having a rough series, man. Rudy might have to get a burn next uh, a blow next game and take a little seat there for a moment. Fly out, fly out, ground out, Cantwell dealing. Fly out single, double play. Shit. Bot six now. We're up one nothing. Walk, fly out, caught stealing, fly out. Yes, let's go. Top seven now. Flaherty coming back out. Fly out, ground out, fly out. So here's the thing. We were crushing Flaherty early, getting hits and base runners every every inning there at the start. He's really settled down to the point where he gets seven innings of one-run ball. They got to be really, really, really happy with what he's ended up doing considering how it looked. That's the trajectory of a game, you know, the ebbs and flows. Cantwell back out for the seventh. Ground out, ground out. Walk, ground out. Let's go. So still one nothing here. Top eight, Flaherty back out, ground out, single, caught stealing, strikeout. Damn, so we've had a couple base running things go against us this time around. Marcel's going to come in for defense. It's going to be a strikeout, fly out, double, fly out. So he's still rocking his shutout here. Will he get a chance to come out for the ninth? Flaherty, oh, I thought he was going to come out for the ninth. They're going to go ahead and go to Barnes. Springer's going to play some defense. Double immediately off Barnes. First pitch. They, they give the intentional walk there. They want to set up the double play. But Beckwith says, I'm going to steal second. Let, or steal third. Let's go. Strike out after a big battle there from Brooks. Come on, Rosar. Do something. Do something. Ground into a double play. Technically, that is something. But it is the direct opposite of the something that I would have wanted. Damn it. All right, Fakak, lock this down, baby. I, I would have given it to Cantwell, but I don't know how many pitches he had either. So, Fakak gets a strikeout, fly out, ground out. <laughs> Let's freaking go, baby. one nothing. Hell of a game to open up the World Series, baby. We love to see it there. Let's go. Let's take a look at this box score here. And we see, like I said, we got 11 hits. We really could have done a lot more damage, but they, they kept getting out of trouble there. They, I, I love this phrase uh, in baseball that I heard a long time ago when I was a kid, dodging raindrops. And that's exactly what Barnes was doing early on. Uh, he, was, he was matrixing the heck out of the way of everything there. Absolutely wild. So good, good on him there. Um, Cantwell gets eight scoreless. Though. Oh, it was an unearned run too. I forgot about that. He had eight punchies. But Cantwell does his thing. Fakat comes in, shuts it down. Great work. Like I said, 98 pitches. I probably would have given him the opportunity. He's got 90 stammy, but I'm not mad about it. I'll say that. We ended up with four stolen bases, one caught. Ooh, let me get the other guys back in before the next sim starts because it was a, it was just a one-game type of deal there. Just a little one-off opportunity for those guys. Then we'll get back to the other folks in there. 
Are we facing a righty or a lefty? Oh, it's all righties. That's right. It's all righties. Okay, so game two will be coming up here very shortly. And uh, you know what? It's actually 10 seconds away. So we'll see if we can wait through it there. And that way we don't have another pause. I'm actually trying to think about how I'm going to how I'm gonna break this all up because it's getting big. It's, get, it's getting to be a lengthy video here as we hit the World Series. So I don't know if I'll do a, maybe a, a, a video for each series, perhaps. I got a lot of work coming on Monday with it, but I'm excited. This has been fun as hell, and I hope this translates in the video format for y'all uh, because I've been having a blast like uh, reacting to all these as they happen here. You're getting my genuine uh, reactions, and it's been intense. I love it. I love this game logging. I don't know if anybody has like a better way to kind of, I know people like to watch the highlights too. I do enjoy that, but the game logging thing's a little bit quicker, uh, but still draws the excitement for me. The only thing is it's maybe sometimes hard to visualize like where the base runners are when there's like a big inning and the merry-go-round is kind of cooking. Uh, so I try to reset that as much as I can, but hopefully, hopefully this has been something that's 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 been fun so let me know in the comments what you think about it because if you're not enjoying it then i gotta come up with something different i want it to be an enjoyable experience for y'all that is the whole point after all so we got thompson back and uh for the playoffs he's at a 675 era he needs to come through here he needs to come through he's got he's got one great start the very first one and then two duds. This one, I'm gonna go, actually I'll say one dud and one mediocre. I'm not gonna get too mad about uh, five and two thirds, four runs. Like again, you're still in the game there and that's what you have to be realistic about. Like where did he leave you when he passed the baton? And he still had us in a position where we could win. And uh, we ended up winning that game as well. So even if we had lost, I wouldn't change my tune on it because again, it's about where he leaves it off and then the bullpen uh, and, and the offense decided, hey, we got it from here. You, were, you weren't you were at your best today? That's okay, ZT, we got you. All right, let's get this sim to come through here so I can do game two. This has been very exciting. I wonder if he made any lineup changes, although I don't think I memorized his lineup to any sort of comfort level that I could even delineate if he did. How do I get, I'm trying to get to his team in, an, in a quick way here. Oh my God, I'm taking the longest route ever. It looks the same. Three lefties and a, and a switchy. He has Tim Anderson locked in at short. That's interesting. He's not that good defensively. I'm surprised. I would probably train up Tim Anderson. Um, you know, if I did a gold squad, I'd probably put him in the outfield and see if he could be a beast in left field. I feel like he could with 83 range, but not my team to decide about. We got game two of the World Series, baby. Let's go. I need Joe Rudy to come through, man. I need him to come through with a massive base hit here, home run. I tell you what, though, if he doesn't for game three, he's going to take a seat. Beckwith's going to play first, and Marcel's going to draw a start. So here we go. We got Joe Musgrove pitching. You see it's a quick inning there with triple fly out. We got Zach Thompson on the bump for us. Walk, stolen base, walk, stolen base, strikeout, strikeout, strikeout. <laughs> Way to answer, baby. Three straight strikeouts after just a disastrous start. He had to have been reeling. Actually, he wasn't reeling. He settled it down. He calmed himself. He's a lot more calm than I am. He calmed himself and said, find the mechanism. I got this. Well done, ZT. Joe Musgrove now. Strikeout, walk, single. Back with the second. Tries to go to third and gets out. Okay. I might need to turn the base running aggression down a tad. We need to check the runner or the uh, outfielder arms on this team because they're kind of kicking our ass with that a little bit. Then Brooks strikes out, snuffs out the inning. That's that's a tough one. That's a tough scene right there. Strikeout, strikeout, fly out. No such trouble in the second inning for Zach Thompson. Back to Musgrove, fly out, fly, fly ooh, excuse me, ground out, fly out, ground out. Bot three now. Solo shot for Carson Kelly. Ground out, single, fly out. Reached on error, single, gonna score a run, gonna score two runs, fly out, three runs on three hits. One error, one left on. Son of a gun. All right. Buckle down. Let's go. We still got this. We're going to come back. We're going to score off Musgrove. Come on. Single. Fly out. Runner tags up. He's safe. Single. Ground out. Okay. Or, I mean, strike out. Sorry. I called that a single. What a doof. Ground out. Single. Single. Shit. Single. Shit. 
Steal second, walk, shit, strike out. Okay, only one run there. Could have been a lot, 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 lot worse. But it's 4 nothing. We are in some trouble. Triple for Mike Boone. Single from Robinson. We're on the board. Strike out. Walk. Single. Single. All right, so what do we got here? We got another single. So we got runners at... It's, we got bases loaded. Strike out. Come on, Beckwith. Come on, be big, be big. Strike out. Damn it. So we get three runs. We're completely back in this. I'm not mad, but I'm just disappointed, especially in Joe Rudy. I'm fairly certain Joe Rudy is not playing game three based on just this right here. Three straight strikes. You're taking two pitches, and then you're striking out swinging. You, you need a break. You need a little mental break. I got it. I got you. Okay, Beckwith going to first. Marcel coming in the short because this is just not great right now. But we're back in this, baby. Single, walk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking single. Runner tries from third, scores. That's it for Zach, man. He just didn't have it. He settled down there after the first and looked like he was about to be dialed in for a good six inning outing. And then he gets he gets four and a third. Or no, excuse me. There isn't there are no outs. He just gets four. Yikes. Come on, Java. Shut it down. Walk. Single. Strike out. Fly out. Fielder's choice. Shit. So after we get three back, we give all three of them right back. Thanks to. Zach Thompson and our boy Java, who we really have high expectations for. That is just a failure. That is just not great, Bob, as, as the kids would say. Actually, the kids probably don't say that anymore. Anyway, single for Ike Boone. Two-run shot for Brooks Robinson. That's going to be it for Joe Musgrove. I told you we would get to Joe Musgrove. Karen check in. Petway strikes out. Ground out for Kane. Fly out for Pete Rose. But we do get two back. It's 7-5. We're still in this, baby. Java, shut him down. Shut him down. Show him who you are. Strike out, double. Strike out, fly out. Okay, not bad. Karen check now. Let's roast him. Ground out. He's done. Taylor Rogers solo shot. Kyle Tucker, you gonna bring in a lefty? He doesn't care. Lefty, lefty, crime, baby. Three fifty six. Boom. Fly out, fly out. That's all right. Seven six. We are in this. Bot seven. Do something, bullpen. Get a scoreless inning for crying out loud. Single, fly out, fly out. Ground out. Let's go. All right. Now it's me, Matt Barnes. Ground out. Single. Double. Single. This game's tied. We've got the lead. Freaking double play. Okay. So let's assess this. Two runs. We take the lead. That's freaking awesome. However, si side note. What's what's the opposite of a silver lining? Like when you when there's something great that happens, but then you want to talk about like the shitty, the little shitty part. Because usually it's like when something shitty happens, the silver lining is the little good part. The downside here is... I'm thinking that the Babbitt is starting to smooth out a little bit for Pete Rose with that double play. I think he's having a tough game if I'm recalling his at-bats properly. So that's not great. But what did I say would happen? The team would pick him up. And they are. 8-7. Let's go bot 8. It's going to be uh, passing it off to Adams here. Marcel's going to come in at short. That means Beckwith is at first. and Or probably, I imagine, Beckwith at first and Rudy out of the game. Bregman walked. Fly out for Gamble. Single, he's, he gets to second. They're going to bring in Trevor Story. Fly out. Freddie Peralta is going to come in. We are not trusting Austin Adams here. Ozzy Albies, ground out. Let's go. That's freaking huge, baby. All right, Matt Barnes is going to stay in. Dever's going to go to third. Trevor Story going to go to center field. In real life, he said he would not play center field for anybody, and that's part of what snuffed out a potential trade. I still think the Rockies are absolutely insane for not getting him dealt. Big fail by them. They're the worst organization in baseball. Anyway, let me calm down there and drink more Red Bull. You can see uh, ground out there by Rios. Ground out. Strikeout. Okay. Bot nine. Freddie Peralta, did he get one out last last inning, right? He got one out. So he's going for a four-out save here. Fly out. Strike out. We're going to actually give it to Paul Fry, even though a righty... Oh, no, that's a pinch hitter. Okay. But we get a ground out. Let's go. Let's go. So they countered our move, but he still stood tall. Paul Fry did. We'll see who that was against. Let's go look at the box score. As we take the lead, baby. 2 nothing. We're going to catch an off day. Oh, let's freaking go, baby. So it was going to be Hoblitzel. Hoblitzel? He was a lefty. Uh, he's This is a really cool card, by the way. So we were going to bring in... I mean, we did bring in Paul Fry, and they said, no, no, we got a counter for that. And I said, 
Paul Fry said, I don't care. I'm not worried about it. And you're done. What a freaking comeback, though, y'all. We were down big. We were down 4 nothing in the fourth, or going into the fifth. We got three back. They took them right back away from us. And then we scored in each of the next three innings to pull off the dub. What excellent work. Rose is under 500 for the first time in a long time for the playoffs. But again, it was going to smooth out, right? He's been the MVP of the first two series. It's okay if he comes back to earth a little bit because the rest of the team is uplifting him, including the bottom of the order. And who did I say the X Factor was going to be? Who did I say it was going to be, baby? Ike Boone. Booney boy in the cut. Meanwhile, Frank, uh, excuse me, Brooks Robinson, been playing like Frank Robinson, uh, displaying a measure of power with a 317 average. Super unexpected. Holy Toledo, man. I am super, super, super happy with what Brooks Robinson's doing. He's in there for defense. Frankly, if he can hit 240 with like a 330 OBP and defense, that's all I need from him. But the fact is, he's stepping up big time, baby. Alvarez, I told you. I told you that's why you don't judge him. Um, with that bad whip that he had and the fact that he was hitting for power, I knew he was going to pop off here in this series because he had kind of weak numbers. Like they looked a little weak, but he was like had a 216 average, but he still had his power. And now his batting average is coming back up. That's all right, though. Uh, we had a couple errors. I didn't even realize that Hoblitzel stole three bases. Hey, Petway. You do have a 91 arm. Like, you, you know you're allowed to use it, right? Like, you're allowed to, like... Like, when you catch it and they're running, then you throw to where they're going and then you get them out, ideally. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. Far, far be it from me to tell you how to do your job. I'm just saying it's a suggestion. Anyway, the pitching. The pitching, man. The bullpen. The bullpen gets the hats off there because brilliant work. Zach Thompson didn't have it. He's been really struggling. And this, by the way... I, this is what I was worried about too, and I talked about how I was calling him our ace because he had the big 322 115, but it was a 418 FIP, and I was like, I am still going to call him our ace, but I realized that with a mediocre K minus walk and a mediocre FIP, relative for an ace, of course, maybe he would not make the grade in the playoffs. And so far, I got to say, he isn't, and that's unfortunate, but it's all right because our bullpen comes in and throws. <clears throat> excuse me, five innings of scoreless ball with just four hits allowed. Meanwhile, their bullpen gets knocked around a bit, including Matty Barnes and Taylor Rogers getting worked, baby. 24 game score. That is not good. 33 for, for Musgrove, also very bad. But uh, we did the damn thing, man. We did the damn thing. We were at Flushing Meadows Park. Player of the game, Brooks Robinson. Whew. Special notes, comeback, four-run comeback, running fast for Hoblitzel, hit machine for Alvarez, shutdown streak, 10-game shutdown streak. Well, this wasn't a shutdown. A shutdown is the the um, the stat that they have, which I like. I actually put that in here. It's about win probability added. There's no shot that he got a shutdown for that, right? That would be crazy. He pitched like shit. He cost them the game. I don't know how that would, I don't know. Not, not my problem to figure out. We're up 2-0. We got an off day coming. I'm going to enjoy the off day a little bit. I'm going to catch a little breather here. Maybe switch to water because I am amped, baby. Here we go. Game three. It's on. We're up 2-0. Zach Gallen for us. And I don't know who for them, but this is not good. Talk, I've been talking about this the whole time about this first snapshot that you get. This is way too much text for, for it to be good. Strikeout, walk, walk, wild pitch, single. That's going to score a run. Wild pitch. Okay, throw the freaking ball over the plate. Strikeout, fly out. Okay, two runs is actually pretty good, all things considered. It could have been so much worse. Now we're facing Gosman. He gets a snap out there. Eight, eight pitches and he's done. Zach Gallen. Bounces back nicely. Okay, zip, zip, bottom second, single, or excuse me, strikeout, single, Beckwith steals, Beckwith steals, ground ball, he scores, 2-1, to one. strikeout, okay, we're going to keep it at 2-1 here. Top three, easy inning for Gallon, ground out, strikeout, fly out, easy inning for Gosman, even though he gives up a single, immediately gets a double play and then another ground out. 
Then we go fly out, double, strike out, single. That's going to score a run on a sack, not a sack fly. A single would be a not sack fly, RBI single. Then fly out, so we give our run back. It's 3-1. Whoops. Sorry, I knocked something off my desk there. Um, pardon me. Moving on here, we have Gosman. Solo home run for Alex Rios. Fly out, strike out. Solo home run for John Beckwith. Fly out. It's tied, baby. Bot four. Let's go. Single, ground in the double play. Fly out. Okay, we got the same thing that they got earlier. So now we're into the bottom of the fifth. We're batting. It's tied. 3-3. Fly out, strike out, fly out. Top six. Gallon back out. Fly out. Or excuse me. Walk, fly out. Another wild pitch, his third of the game. Hey, anybody want to catch the ball? Uh, and by, by anybody, I mean Bruce Petway. Bregman to second, single. He's going to get to third, single. He's going to score. Runner tries out, tries for second, or excuse me, from second to third. He's out, sorry. Then caught stealing. Huge defensive step up there to really stem the tide on a potential big inning. Keeping it at 4-3. We go bot six. Gosman's back out. Strikes out Pete Rose looking. Strikes out Rio swinging. Single for Tuck. Fielder's choice for Marcel. Damn. All right. Hit by pitch. Oh, for Caxon, by the way. Hit by pitch. Great start. Fly out. Strike out. Single. Always a second. Strike out. Okay. <sighs> Rebounded. Bot seven now. Single. Single. Back with. Wait, back with the second, back with the third? Which is it? Which is it? Uh, what happened there to get him to go there? Anyway, fly out ends up being a sack fly. We're tied. Ground out. Boone goes to second. Double from Kane. Boone scores. That's going to be it for Gosman. We're going to go to Gallegos here. Ground out from Pete Rose. Pete Rose is really struggling, as I predicted. 5-4 now. We go top eight. Fakax back out. Ground out, single, strike out. Hit by pitch, gamble the second. Story's gonna be the pinch runner. Double, that's gonna score him. Frick. Devers goes to third, tries to go home. He's safe. Shit. Fly out. We're down 6 5. Bot 8. Gonna have some defensive replacements there, including Devers and Wright. Curious. I wanna look that up later. Fly out, walk. Wild pitch. Walk. Fly out, fly out. Son of a bitch. It's gonna be Kevin Rogers now. Walk. Bunt. Uh, sack bunt. Strike out, another wild pitch, but we get the ground out and we're good. Okay, can we score run, two runs here? Double the start, fly out, ground out, ground out, we lose. And the next game's coming up really quickly, by the way. That's why I was kind of speeding through that, if you were wondering. I, I My timing was a little bit off there in terms of running it up, but uh, we got it there. Let's look at the box score as long as we can. We might have to get interrupted by the next game. I want to see this Bregman and, or this Devers and Wright situation. Why did they do that? That is weird. Maybe that's all they had. Uh, wouldn't they have been better off just leaving Story in since he played like center field? I mean, he only has, I don't know. Interesting. I wish we could have taken advantage of that bad defense on some level and maybe had some issues pop up. But Fakak, tough game. Tough game for him. Gallon settled down. I'm happy with where he's at, but that was tough. So what do we got here? We got uh, game, we are down, or excuse me, we're up 2-1. We got game four coming up. We got Cole Henry coming off of an excellent outing last time out. I did forget to switch this here. Um, and so we had, we had Marcel batting fourth, which I don't love. That was kind of a mistake there, but I'm gonna keep it like that. I don't even know if that's gonna count because I, I did put it while it was simulating. So if they were already back to our, if they were already through our league, then it wouldn't count. I don't love Marcel batting fourth there, but I'm not as worried about that. You know, I got our best hitters hitting at the top of the lineup. That's what I want. If I can, And Beckwith's only a 45 power, so it doesn't really change that much. He's just been great throughout the playoffs. That's the main reason that I want him up there, but he doesn't really offer any power either. So uh, we'll see. We don't have a lot of power, guys. Even Booney is not some power stud. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Frankly, I should maybe move Brooks Robinson up. He's got a 53 power. I'm, I'm going to try it, even though, again, it's probably not going to work. We're getting really late here in the... Uh, so yeah, there. see, there it is. There's no way I got that in. So we'll switch it out after this. Let's get into game four. We're up 2-1. Let's see if Cole Henry can give us a commanding 3-1 three three lead. And we will start right away here at home. Cole Henry's out, and boom, blitzes through him with fly out, ground out. Strike out one of each. Lance Lynn pitching for them, fly out, ground out, single, steals second, throwing air, gets to third, ground out, nothing comes of it, son of a gun. 
We did get Beckwith to four to the fourth hitter. So that part that part did click, but the Brooks Robinson one definitely didn't. There's no there's no shot on that. Strikeout, fly out, ground out, easy peasy. Single, freaking double play, fly out, okay. Fly out, ground out, ground out. Cole Henry is dialed in right now. We love to see that. Pardon me, I missed a phone call. Um, strikeout, double, strikeout, ground out, damn. Nice double by Caney, though. Appreciate that. Henry now, fly out, strike out, fly out. He is dealing through four. Let's see if he can keep it going. Fly out, walk. Beckwith caught stealing, son of a bitch. Booney, Booney with a single, strike out. Okay, so zero runs on one hit, let one left on. Zip, zip, top five. Bing, bang, boom. Even with a hit mixed in, it's ground out, single, fly out, ground out. Henry is just cooking right now. We love to see it. Lance Lynn back out for the bottom of the fifth. He's also dealing, by the way. I got to give credit where it's due. And that's going to be a long walk. What is that? Eight pitches? Eight pitch walk. Fielder's choice. And then a double play from Kane. Tough. Good pitching by Lynn there. Top six now for Cole Henry. Ground out, fly out, strike out. My goodness. He is just, he's untouchable right now. I hope it stays. Ground out, ground out, fly out, and it ends up being six pitches, just what you, the doctor ordered in the sixth inning when you're trying to go deep in a game. And the bullpen's been a little bit of trouble for the Queens Museum early on, so they love seeing that. Uh, fly out, fly out, ground out. Speaking of dealing, man, Cole Henry, another seven inning outing at the very least. We'll see what happens in the eighth here. Still no score, by the way. Fly out, ground out, walk from Marcel. Fly out from Robinson. That's going to end the inning. <clears throat> Cole Henry now coming out for the eighth. Gets a ground out of Alvarez. That's huge. Ground out, ground out. And are you kidding me? Six pitches in the eighth? That is so excellent. Wow, what a, what a pitcher's duel this has been. Lynn is not going to come out for the eighth. They're going to turn it over to Matt Barnes. Petway, double. Fly out, ground out. Petway's at third. Ground out for Rios. Son of a gun. All right. Ninth inning, Henry still out. Gets a ground out immediately. Ground out, ground out. Triple ground out there. Henry is out of his mind right now. My goodness. Now, Barnes is going to stay in. Devers is going to be at third. It's going to be a fly out. Triple. Oh, come on. We got to get the walk off here. Single. And it's going to be a walk off. Oliver Marcel with the walk off. Single, baby. One nothing. We get a shutty from Cole Henry. Holy shit. Let's take a look at this box score. Oh, my goodness. What a game. Sorry, my back itches. What a game here, man. He throws a one hit shut piece. Oh, wow. Just a devastatingly strong effort. Hey, and again, tip of the cap to Queens Museums and Lance Lynn in particular. He pitched his ass off. The lone hit goes to Alvarez. No walks. We get a couple hits from Booney and then a few scattered around the rest of the lineup. By the way, Rose down to 404 for the playoffs. And again, I, I'm, I don't say that to denigrate him. I'm just pointing out how when you're running that high, it has to come back to earth. And nothing like a there's nothing better than a simulator that's going to smooth that out, right? You can run hot for a while, but e even if he doesn't do well the rest of these last few games, he's still going to have a good composite playoff without a doubt. He guaranteed that with the first two series. That's just the ebbs and flows, man. And then Henry, man, 89 pitches. He gets a Maddox. If you don't know what a Maddox is, it's a shutout on 99 or fewer pitches. It can't be 100. It has to be under 100. Uh, what a great effort. Brilliant effort from Lynn, too. Barnsey, though, I mentioned, you know, how their bullpen, they, they wanted to stay out of it because uh, they want Lynn They want Lynn out there as long as they could. He only had 91 pitches. I'm kind of surprised he didn't get to keep going there. An 89 game score. That is amazing. That has to be one of the best ones in the playoffs, especially in the modern era. Now, I do treat my guys um, a bit different. I play a little bit old school where I, I, I kind of push my guys a little bit longer. I got I got more stamina on my game strategy where, where my, my hook is not as quick. Um, I, try to like, I try to let my guys work through stuff. Sometimes it burns me for sure, but I like letting Henry go here, 89 pitches. I mean, I think even somebody who has a quicker hook they were never going to hook him. I mean, he didn't get in any sort of trouble. What, what would you be hooking him from, you know? 
So now we have a commanding 3-1 lead. This is amazing. Can we take it in game five? Can we win at home? Find out next. All right. We're going for the World Series dub here. We're up 3-1. Game five. What do we got? What do we got, baby? Let's do the damn thing. Let's get in here. Let's get in this game long. We got Ben Cantwell breezing through the first inning. We can already see that. We got Carrasco doing the same, though. He stifles a single, but otherwise, zip, zip, off rip. It's Halloween, baby. We're going to dress up as World Series winners, I hope. Ground out, ground out, strikeout. Ooh, a strikeout for Ben Cantwell. That is very rare. We love to see that. Fly out, strikeout, ground out. Okay, zip, zip. Double for Albies. Uh-oh. Ground out, ground out, ground out, though. Snuff that out, baby. Let's go. Single, single. We got Petway on second, first and second. Petway steals, double steal. Fly out. Fly out, not a sack. Oh, it's a line drive. Wait. There's a line drive to the third. Or to, to three, which is first base. Then that's not a fly out. Like it, don't they? They don't have lineouts. I mean, I, I guess it's in the description. I'm quibbling. I'm quibbling. Rios, come through big here, baby. Reached on error. Double, double scores. I don't know why I said double scores. That's not a baseball phrase. But two runs score. Wow. Holy crap. Who made that error? They got to be feeling terrible about themselves. They might have just cost their team because Cantwell might shut it down, baby. Strikeout, double. Rio scores. Ike Boone, what you got? Single. Back with the third. He's going home. Safe. Chad Green is in now. They're already taking out Carrasco. Rough, rough World Series for him, man. He was terrible. Marcel comes in. Gets it done. Love Carrasco in real life, by the way. I'm not trying to roast him too much. It's a video game. I'm just messing around. But uh, he had he had two rough outings, if I recall correctly. We are up 4-0. Four runs on four hits and a devastating error. One left on base. We go top four. Ben Cantwell out here. Ground out, strikeout, strikeout. Where did the strikeout come from, man? 33 stuff, and he's already got three punchitos. Let's go. Chad Green going to stay in for a little bit, I would imagine, if, unless we kill him. I shouldn't have said kill him like that. Like, chill out, Paul, unless we beat, you know, unless we get a bunch of hits against him. My God, settle down. Fly out, fly out. Solo shot for Lokane. I had seen that, by the way, when I scrolled back up. I kind of caught that out of the corner of my eye. Walk. Pete Rose steals second, but then a strikeout. Okay, good to see Pete Rose getting on base, stealing, kind of getting back into the groove of success. We are up 5-0, fifth inning, Ben Cantwell, strikeout, fly out, double, ground out, let's go. My man cannot be touched right now. Big shouts to my Twitch chat for recommending Cantwell and my boy Shreen for selling me Cantwell on the market last night because he was not available. He has become a gem. I can't wait to tell Shreen how well he's doing um, unless he watches this video, in which case, what's up, Shreen? Thanks, man. All right, Chad Green sticking out there, like I mentioned. Strikeout, single, single. Fly out, runner tag. Kirby Yates is coming out. Double, that's another run. Boone to third, fly out. That's all right, one run on three hits. Two left on base. It's 6 nothing, baby. We're starting to feel it. They're putting up the plastic. You got. Here's the thing. you got to prepare. You don't want to disrespect your opponent, but you got to prepare for, for the potential celebration. So they're, they're putting up some of the plastic. That's all I'm saying, okay? Walk, single. Uh-oh. Double play, but it does score Kelly. Fly out. So they're on the, they're on the board. It's 6-1. Bot 6. Let's keep adding. Kirby Yates still in there. Strikeout, fly out, strikeout. We're not adding shit there. Cantwell comes back out for the seventh. Fly out, single. Strikeout, another one. Ground out, 6-1. Seven amazing innings for Ben Cantwell. If that's all he does, he holds his head very high. He was amazing for us this playoff. We'll see what happens in the eighth. Yates back out. Ground out, ground out, single. Double, Booney to third. He goes home, safe. Reached on error, Marcel to third. We got... First and third, I believe. Another single. Marcel scores. Robinson the second. We got first and second now. And then he strikes out looking. All right, so we score two runs on three hits. One error, two left on. It's 8-1, baby. I did smack the shit out of my hand, bringing it up from here on my desk. And it really did hurt. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, ouch. Ben Cantwell is staying in. Fly out, single. 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 We might need to come out. 
So they have a run. They have a run that's scored and bases loaded. I believe the merry-go-round is is cooking, right? Is that correct? So he was on first, then he was on second, then he was on third, and then he scored. So there's actually two on. Yeah, that's right. There's two on, one out. Nate Jones comes in, sack fly given up, single, another run. Oh shit! Throwing error, another run. Okay, okay. Let's snuff this out. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Three runs on four hits, one error, one left on. It's 8-4. That's all right. Shit got a little wild. Everyone was getting kind of excited. The fans are going absolutely berserk. The players may be getting a little, a little off their rhythm. Calm it down. Let's tack on a couple more here. Taylor Rogers comes in. Ground out for Pete Rose. Had a rough World Series, no matter how it ends right now. Strike out, fly out. Okay, we don't add anything. Shut it down, Nate Jones. Shut it down. Strike out, fly out. Fly out, ball game World Series, let's go, baby. We did it, hell yeah. That is freaking huge. The World Series is over. We win 4-1, and the only game we lost was a one-run gem. Hell of a series. Shark, come here, oh, she, I went to grab her and she darted away from me like she's a little running back. Get over here, you little football. Come here, can you celebrate? Come celebrate. Come celebrate. Hey guys, I'm already in perfect week, so I'm not really impressed with my dad being in stone week. Stone week is so easy, dad. It doesn't even be as hard. What are you doing, you little dweeb? Anyway, we won. Four games to one. No choke this time, baby. No choke this time. Let's take a look at the composite box score for the World Series here. Whew. That was awesome. I am amped. That was so freaking fun. Hey, I got to be honest. I, I, I kind of nailed it, right? I kind of nailed it on a couple things. I said, Pete Rose, there's an opportunity, or not an opportunity, but there's a big chance, likelihood, that he comes back to earth in a big way because he was running like a 590 BABIP and everything was going so well that like just the nature of baseball, he was going to come back to earth. It had nothing to do with him as a negative or trying to hate on him. It's just when you see numbers that high, what goes up must come down in baseball. That's just how it works. But who did I say the X Factor could be? Who did I say the X Factor could be, baby? Ike freaking Boone. Let's go. 10 for 18 with a couple ribs. We love to see it. He was a catalyst. I want to see how many runs he scored because he was awesome. Beckwith went off as well. Yo, Kane was great too. And I don't expect offense out of him. And he really did deliver. Brooks was awesome. We've discussed that. Petway was strong. Tucker did his thing. He had a lot of key hits. Rios didn't quite get back on track, but he was certainly helpful and a key piece to this. Obviously, we don't get anywhere near the World Series without his entire season. And who was the MVP? It was indeed Ike Boone. Yo, I feel really cool about that. I'm not going to lie. Like I just said, you know, he could be the X Factor. I've been gassing him up. You know, ever since I picked him up, I've been telling you guys oh, how great he is in Perfect Team and this and that and the other. And uh, he comes through in a big way, and he's the World Series MVP. That's really cool. I feel I feel pretty stoked about that. And then as far as the pitching goes, I can't really sort by innings here, but uh, Ben Cantwell could have been Series MVP, and that would have made sense. Zach Thompson gets ripped a little bit. Fakak actually struggles, which was surprising. Gallon wasn't great, but then look at all these guys were excellent. What the hell happened to John King, though? I'm really curious on that. My mans didn't even pitch. There's no injuries in this game, so what What was going on there? I mean, we won the World Series, so like I, I don't really need to be complaining about it, but he didn't touch the playoffs. He literally didn't pitch in the playoffs, and I don't, I don't quite get it. Um, it's 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 bizarre. I mean, I have him in high leverage and use more. Well, it was high leverage, or no, it was specialist. But I have him in use more often middle relief. I'm sorry, all three of these other guys pitched. Is it just kind of the luck of the draw, and in his case, the bad luck of the draw? That is really really bizarre. I've never really seen that that I can recall. But anyway. The overall playoff uh, box score here, or, or stats as it were, Cole Henry was amazing. He had three brilliant outings and one bad one. Um, he was you know, legit rough here, but the other three were so excellent that we overlooked the one rough outing against, uh, Bar what was it, Bars Harbor, I believe, Bar Harbor. Uh, Gallon had his ups and downs. Actually, did he have any ups? I know it's kind of mean, but it's the truth. 
this outing was pretty good, this outing was good, and then these two weren't weren't great. But again, for me, I know six and three, six innings, three runs is a quality start, but six and four is like is like a, a you know just a scotch below. Obviously, it's one run worse, and it, I don't I don't hate it. So the ERA was high for the playoffs, but I don't think that Zach Gallon was like killing us. He was keeping us in position more often than not. I'm still pretty proud of what he did. Uh, Henry and Cantwell were obviously the stars. I can't really spin it positively for Zach Thompson, though. I think he had one good start the entire playoffs here against Seabad, his first outing of the uh, of the entire playoffs. Got us off on the right direction, but then this one was brutal. This one was like a keep us in the game type of deal, and this one was just flat out rough. Now, we won three of the four, so it all worked out, but he was not really contributing to that. Fakak, one of our best guys, we really rely on him big time. He didn't, did he have any clean outings? I think he had the three innings save to start, which was awesome. And then gave up runs in his next two, clean inning here, and then two more runs there. So he wasn't at his best. Neither was Java, but then literally the rest of the bullpen shut it down. And that's going to be, let's see, 10, 11, 17, 17 and 5 is going to be 22. 22 and two-thirds scoreless from the rest of the pen. That's how you win a World Series, folks. That's how you do it. That's how you make up for Zach Thompson not being on his game, for Zach Gallon being a little inconsistent, for Cole Henry having a rough outing. That's how you do it. Let's look at the hitting composite. All in all, Petway was okay like he you know i'm not gonna try to spin it too hard he wasn't great but he did steal five bases scored five runs he was in the mix a few different times doing some big things overall his uh defense can i look at that how how would i how might we see that do they have playoff fielding stats can we get a throw out rate he threw out 43 percent. so we like we like to see oh wait that's for the season can we get a I got postseason on here, but it's not really working. All right, so I guess I can't really do it without individually looking, and I'm definitely not going to go through and tally that up. Joe Rudy, he struggled big time. Uh, just unfortunate, you know. There were some news media stories writing him up, but his team came out in support of him. There was one post-game interview where Brooks Robinson was asked a question about Joe Rudy's struggles, and he got impassioned. And, you know, Brooks is usually a little you know, kind of more mild-mannered, and he said, don't speak on him like that. You don't speak on his name like that. This man's out here putting up 14 triples. I didn't even notice that, by the way. 23 homers, 110 ribbies, one of our best players in season. You don't speak poor of him. We pick him up when he needs us, and he needed us. So that was nice to see Brooks Robinson. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this right now because we're not, uh, we're not really worried about that. We can catch up later. Um, when's it going to announce like the MVP and such? I, I don't know when that happens. Petey. Even with the rough World Series, was brilliant. 10-15 on the OPS, even strikeout to walk rate, nine ribs, 13 runs, three stolen bases, just excellent, excellent work. Six extra base hits, fantastic. Same with Brooks. I got no qualms about anything he did. You throw in the brilliant defense, look at that win probability added. That's fantastic. Great stuff out of John Beckwith, too. He was switching between first and short. Speaking of short, uh, Marcel came in, and he didn't quite hit. You know, he struck out a lot, but we appreciated what he was able to do defensively. We kind of threw him into the starter's duty. He was ready to go. He didn't play that great offensively, but I'm not going to hold it against him. We won the World Series, so I got something nice to say about everybody, baby. Uh, Tim Raines barely played. We didn't really didn't face many lefties, and that's why, because that is really where he excels I wish this card was a little better. I love Tim Raines. I was so excited to get this. I do think that at some point, though, I want to turn him loose. Just one full season where I just let him go and see what he can do. See if he can run up 100 steals because I think that would be a lot of fun. But Kyle Tucker's not going anywhere anytime soon. He's one of my favorites in real life, so I love having him here on the team. He had an excellent playoff. Nice little .31 win probability added. Good on you, bud. Well done. By the way, that .87 with the defense and offense, like he added so much. He was awesome. Brooks Robinson, what a G. Uh, Rios, again, his hitting was not off the charts the way it normally is, but he contributed. He was in the mix regularly. 10 ribbies, seven runs scored, 
a 0.57. That's our second highest WPA. We love to see it. And then Booney, baby, World Series MVP rebounds after two mediocre, uh, two dud series. Let's 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 not mince words. Two dud series, but he says, "I got gotcha. you. Get on my back for the World Series. I got gotcha. you." And he comes through, ends up getting to a 0.33 WPA, and we love to see it. It ends up being fourth on the squad. He was really coming through. The bottom of the order, man, because Brooks was down there as well. Uh, Kane and Petway, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. Kane 722 OPS is not going to be jumping off the charts as, as amazing. But the key hits that he was able to have, throw in the amazing defense as well. I am just, I'm so happy with the squad, man. We did it. We freaking did it, baby. Let's go. All right, well, now I guess we wait. We, we see what happens if we can get the uh, um, the end of the season stuff. I'm actually going to go ahead and let that sim come through that I canceled just now and see if that gives us our our uh, MVP and whatnot. I don't know if it, if it waits till every World Series is done, though, in which case I'm going to catch myself a breather here because we are all set, and I'm sure there's some leagues that are going to take another couple hours. But let's see. We do have an email here. The offseason begins. Is there no MVP? Do we not get an email about an MVP? I, I would imagine that we do, but we'll see. I guess I can do this too, to see if it's already been announced. I could click here, because I think Dor is gonna win it. So does he have an MVP? Uh, we are in the 2038 season and he was indeed the most valuable player and the platinum stick and the great glove. So great work by him. Um, I'll have to look at everything else later because apparently somebody's at my door and I didn't order anything. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out what's going on with that. World Series champs though, baby. Take care, y'all.